Hey, I'm so glad you're here with us. I'm Pastor Fred. This is the follow through. We're listening to God. We're also living for Him. And what we're doing uh, next couple of weeks, learning how to read the Bible and uh, and really why, like like what's important, what's the goal, what's the point. We're, we're encouraged to do that, but why? why? Why give it your time? Why why give it so much of your time? And Again, today we get a weird answer as to what we're supposed to do with the Word of God. And um, John is, is told by an angel in Revelation 10, verse 9. There, there we read that he went to the angel and he told him to give me to, 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 he told him to give him the little scroll. And he said to me, "Take it and eat it. It's going to make your stomach bitter, but in your mouth it will be sweet as honey. So it, it tastes good at first. It's like, oh man, this is sweet. This is awesome. But, but sometimes the Word of God can present difficult things to us. You, you know what I mean? And, and here's the point, is that you look at it, and you could look at something like, like I can do all things through Him who strengthens me, or you know, some of the other passages. Uh, even the one we talked about yesterday, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And, and that sounds sweet. Knowing that God loves me, knowing that He cares about me, that's awesome. N- knowing that I-, I will never want for anything. See, but then I might realize that there's so many times where I, I trust in other things. Like, I don't look to Him as my shepherd. Because sometimes, like, and this is where it gets bitter, man, this is where it gets difficult, where, where I look at it and be like, I'm not really a sheep. I, I, don't want to, I don't want to be seen that way. I don't want to be seen as weak. I don't want to be seen as, uh, as someone that would wander off and drift and messed up. I'm not going to face the truth about me. Right? Because once it starts getting down in there, once we really start, and this is what I, I, I just, we, we need to do this. We need to take the time. Just let it speak to us. Let it get down in there. Take God at His word, like trust Him. Like have all of that we've been talking about all week, this longing and this excitement and rejoicing of what He gives, but realizing that that sometimes it's going to be bad news, but even that bad news is good because God's being truthful for us. He's saying, look, I got your diagnosis and for, for what you've been feeling all these days, all these years. But you felt the, the, the sting of death, right? You, you felt the weight of all of that. But I want you to know that, I, that, that Jesus came to die for you. So again, there's that bitterness, but, but it's also sweet. I, I believe that sweetness returns as we see what God has done. But, but it's going to affect us in a lot of different ways. And I want us to see that. I want us to really expect that. That that's what's going to happen. Like we shouldn't just read the Bible and be like, oh, that was nice. How, how encouraging. And, and, and maybe you, you, you forward it to somebody who needs to see that. But did you see it yourself? That's the point. D- did it get down deep into your soul and affect you? Did you eat the book? Did you, did you chew on it? Did you swallow it? Did you say, you know what, I, w- I want this to get into my, the very fabric of my life. Every part of me, I want this to be there. To know who God is, to know that He died for me. So I think when we're doing that, then it's no longer us reading the Bible, it's the Bible reading us. It's, it's, it's not us getting into the Bible, but the Bible getting into us, into our hearts, into our souls, into our everyday lives where we listen to Him and we live for Him. Have a great one, and we'll talk to you next time for another follow-through.